Now this tutorial will be about you know leashing for your jungler because some people still don't know how to do it. If you give your jungler a leash, it will allow him to avoid taking the first few hits from this, his starting point, usually the golem. In this case, this is an example of a basic leash, just one or two auto attacks to pull it for your uh, jungler. If you notice, Warwick is not taking any hits and he's getting lots of free hits on the blue golem. In some cases, this will allow certain junglers to start in certain methods, like Warwick with a longsword. I am free to take more offensive runes due to the leash, since I won't be taking as much damage as I normally would if I had tanked the go golem from the very beginning. Everyone is familiar with the basic leash, but there's a better one, which I call the man leash. It involves your teammates hitting the golem for more damage, more, not just one hit to pull it, but more, uh, more free hits. I mean, it doesn't really cost them that much. Usually, the, the mid laner pulls it, and then top lane, if you're on blue side or bottom lane, if you're on purple side, hit it more, uh, hit it for more damage. Sometimes, depending on which uh, heroes your teammates picked, you may not even have to use smite. If you're uh, if you're sure your the enemy team isn't gonna come and snatch it from you, then you can save smite to go and do some counter jungling right off the bat. That smite allows you to do some lucrative paths. We will not. And as you saw, I didn't do that. Uh, I didn't take that much damage, but the amount of damage that was dealt to Golem allowed me to go incredibly fast and save my smite. Now the next leash is a lot trickier. It requires your mid laner to help you out a little bit more. Watch the Timo's movements in this. What he's going to do is move around to confuse the enemy golem. By confusing the enemy golem, he'll keep him aggro to him, but force the uh, golem to retreat his steps back and forth, while I get in some free hits and take very little damage. If you notice, the blue golem is almost dead and it finally aggro from Timo. But there, I got so many free hits, and I was able to start off with a non-defensive item and a more non-offensive mastery and rune build. Let's find some friends. Now the next leash is just, it's not really a big deal. It's kind of just nice to have. It just involves top lane or bottom lane, depending on what side you start off, just shooting your small golems once. Because most champions that start off at small golems will annihilate them. Yeah, I like in this case. <laughs> I get free hits without taking any real damage. I probably didn't even need a leash, but it's nice to have. It's kind of nice to know that you can do this. It's just an option. Anyways, hopefully this benefits uh, you and your team.